Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to unwind at the end of term at university but also just unwind after your exams are finished, after your essays are finished and we can now relax for the summer. One thing I always put on sort of the back burner whilst I'm doing all my essays and exams is exercise and I love to go on hikes and to go on walks. So once all my essays and exams and the term's done with, I can get back into my hiking and my walking and that is such a great way to keep staying active whilst we've got the day free to do nothing. So we may as well put it into our fitness and to stay healthy over the summer. Now, something I always feel at the end of term is I always feel like I don't know what to do because you've had all your days planned for you around your assessments and your essays and what uni work you have to do so when it comes to the end of term it's like you've got the full day to just do nothing which sometimes can be a little stressful for me um, so that's why I always have to keep my brain going whether that's reading a book whether that's doing some sort of activity like craft activity creative activity um, it just keeps your brain going and gives you something to focus on rather than having no focus throughout the day another thing we can do again once term has ended is seeing our friends now that is such a good unwinding activity from all the university stress you've just done with your deadlines and your assessments seeing your friends and just being social and um, going back to normal life is a great way to unwind obviously sticking to government restrictions on corona and socially distancing and everything like that just making time to go see your friends talk to your friends and gaining back that social aspect of your life which may have been lost or may have been just quietened down a bit while you got on with your assessments that can be regained again at the end of term some more things which can help unwind is just leisurely activities like watching a film just doing anything that you've not been able to do whilst doing all your assessments. I said to my mum, I was like, I'm gonna watch all of the TV programs that I've always been like, oh, I'd, I'll watch that once uni's done. I'll watch that once I've done this assessment. Everything like that, I'm going to do. And that's gonna be a great way to unwind again, just sitting down, putting your favourite TV programme on, putting your favourite film on and just having that time which obviously the end of term can be very stressful. That's when all your deadlines are due, your essays, your assessments, everything. Some people have done exams. So again, that's been your full focus for the end of term. So when that all stops, you've got nothing to do. So literally just watching a film is a great way to just sit, relax and enjoy the summer. Another way which we can unwind is just enjoying the University of Lincoln campus without the stress of knowing we've got an essay and everything due. So just walking around campus while whilst terms ended, just go and get in a coffee with your friends at the tower bar or anything like that. Just enjoying campus and enjoying university life without all the added stress of end of term dates and just enjoying it stress free. Another thing which we can do to unwind at the end of term is just have a spa day, just to have a bit of a pamper. Again, this is pushed to the bottom of your priority list at the end of term. So once everything's over, just taking time to go have a bath, put a face mask on, paint your nails, do whatever you want, just to take care of yourself and to relax and just enjoy the time you have not stressing about assessments. So I hope I gave a few ways on ways which we can unwind after term. Like I said, the end of term can be very stressful for a lot of people. A lot of people have exams, which I know my housemate had exams. I had my dissertation, assessments due. It is very full on when it comes to the end of term, ready to finish for summer. So these are just ways which we can de-stress and ease ourselves into a stress-free summer. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.